वेलकम टू नोमिकल सीरीज ऑफ पावर प्लांट इक्विपमेंट दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट इन 2021 स्प्रिंग ऑफ पोखरा यूनिवर्सिटी एंड द नोमिकल प्रॉब्लम इज एयर इज ड्रॉन इन अ गैस टरबाइन यूनिट एट 15 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड 1.01 बार प्रेशर एंड प्रेशर रेशियो इज 7.1 द कंप्रेशन इज द कंप्रेशन इज ड्राइव्ड बाय द sp टरबाइन LP turbine drives a separate power shaft. The incentropic efficiencies of compressor and HP and LP are 0 0.82, 0 0.85 and 0 0.85 respectively. If the maximum cycle temperature is 610 degrees Celsius, calculate the pressure and temperature of the gas entering the power turbine the net power developed by the unit per kg per second mass follow the work ratio the thermal efficiency of unit neglecting the mass of fuel and assume the flowing for compression process cpa equal to 1.005 kilojoule per kg and the value of gamma is 1.4 for combustion and expansion process. C rho z equal to 1.15 kilojoule per kg and the value of gamma is 1.333. Now solution is first of all temperature. Temperature T1 15 plus temperature 15 degrees Celsius. We have to convert this temperature into absolute. So we can add 273 that is 288 Kelvin and P1 0 0.01 bar. This is already given in the question. And pressure is P2 upon P1 already given. 7 is to 1. So we can write 7. And this is the TS diagram. And efficiency of compressor is 0 0.82. Efficiency of turbine high pressure that is equal to 0 0.85 efficiency of turbine low pressure 0 0.85 now maximum temperature maximum cycle temperature t3 this is already given in the question 610 plus 270 610 degrees celsius we have we can convert 610 into absolute temperature so we add 273 that is 883 kelvin now pressure and temperature of the gas entering the power turbine that is P4 bar and T4 bar considering isotropic compression 1 to 2 from 1 to 2 we get T2 upon T1 equal to P2 upon P1 power gamma minus 1 upon gamma the value of P2 upon P1 is 7 and the value of gamma is 1.4 so 1.4 minus 1 upon 1.4 we can get T2 upon T1 equal to 1.745. Now, the work output of SP turbine equal to work input to compressor. So, C rho P equal to T3 minus T4 dash is equal to 262.9. This is the work input of compressor. And now, put all this value, we can get the value of T4 dash or T4 bar. Temperature of gas entering in the power turbine is 654.4 Kelvin. Again for high pressure turbine, efficiency equal to T3 minus T4 dash upon T3 minus T4. Put all these value, we can get the value of T4. And the value of T4 is 614 Kelvin. Considering Incentropic expansion process that is from 3 to 4 we get from the TS diagram from this diagram we can from 3 to 4 consider the processes incentropic so T3 upon T4 equal to P3 upon P4 power gamma minus 1 upon gamma 
put all this value we can get the value of p4 the value of p4 is 1.636 bar that is pressure of gas entering the power turbine is 1.636 bar now net power developed per kg per kg per second equal to of mass flow to find the power output it is now necessary to calculate t5 dash the power ratio p4 upon p5 is given by p4 upon p3 into p3 upon p5 that is p4 upon p5 equal to p4 upon p3 into p2 upon p1 that is 7 by 4.32 is 1.62 since p2 equal to p3 and p5 equal to p1 and then t4 dash upon t5 equal to t4 upon t5 power gamma minus 1 upon gamma uh, from this we can get the value of t5 the value of t5 is uh, 580.6 kelvin again for LT turbine turbine efficiency equal to T4 dash minus T5 dash upon T4 dash minus T5 from this we can get the value of T5 dash that is 591.7 Kelvin now work done for low pressure turbine equal to 0 G T4 dash minus T5 dash from here you can get the value 72.1 kilojoule per kg hence network power developed per kg per second is 72.1 kilowatt now work ratio work ratio equal to network output upon gross work output that is 72.1 upon 72.1 plus 262.9 that is 0 0.215 similarly and finally thermal efficiency of the unit heat supply equal to c rho g t3 minus t2 and this value is 1.15 and t3 is 883 minus 549.6 by calculating this we can get the value 383.4 and hence uh, thermal efficiency thermal efficiency equal to network done network output upon heat supply that is 72.1 upon 383.4 or 0 0.118